Hi, I'm Dan McGinnis, real estate agent of over 34 years here in Phoenix, Arizona. I'd like to talk with real estate agents who either like to or do not like to or who never have held an open house before. Did you know that open houses are probably one of the key ways to get additional real estate business? I've heard negative talk over the years of being in the business by other realtors who don't like to hold open houses. Well, there's no reason to not like or not, not to like holding open houses because it's a form of income. So if you don't have an open house or you don't currently have a listing to hold open, I'd like to share with you how to get that. Now, especially if you're in a larger company, a company where there's more agents, like 50 or 100 or 500, that would make things better. You see, I've only held one of my own personal listings open. What I usually do is I do some searching for other real estate agents who have listings in the four, five, six, seven hundred thousand price range. And we'll talk about it in the next video about how to go about acquiring that permission to hold that listing open. But just so you understand today, just because you don't have a listing that your seller wants to be held open, or you don't have a vacant listing, doesn't mean you cannot hold an open house. You can hold an open house this weekend. And the key thing is asking other agents who have listings that you would like to have open that are in the company that you're in that are under the same brokerage. And tomorrow, we're going to get into a little more art, a little more science of how to go about accomplishing that task. Have a great day.